Mother told me the conversation with police was just awful. She never thought she'd have to bury her son, and she says the way it all happened is not how she wanted to remember him. Police are processing everything, much like Francine Barnes is with her most unpleasant memories. The gun was this far from my face. There was a body found. Francine's son was missing. What she later learned made this story come together. He got angry with me and said, I'm going to shoot you like I did your son. The gunman threatened but never pulled the trigger. This big old golf ball hit right here with that steel gun he had. He hit me so hard I did a fat flip. From the floor, she says she dialed 911 when he turned his back. Still, no signs of 46-year-old Charles Barnes. Then 24 hours later, a car description she shared turned grim. I was angry. I was pissed off. In the trunk of a car, the body police found was confirmed. It was Charles. While she was under attack, she was fighting to save her own life. I pushed that out of my house and I Damn shut the door. Francine says the masked man who stormed her home shot her son. She also told me she hopes someone just speaks up soon to help police catch whoever is responsible. In the newsroom, Frank Wiley, News Channel 5. The 14